Welcome to another episode on the La Repo. I think this is episode 33. Today I am going to discuss an article that I came across in the TC Weekly News online edition. The article is captioned Talks on Caicos Islands Government says temporary work permit being used for sex trafficking and prostitution. Now, before I do so, my usual disclaimer. This is not legal advice. Should not be construed as legal advice. For legal advice, please contact an attorney of your choice. Welcome back. Prostitution is defined as the commercial exchange of sex for money, goods, services or some other benefit agreed upon by the transacting parties. And yes, prostitution is illegal in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Section 20 of the Trafficking in Persons Prevention Ordinance states a person who transports or conspires to transport another person into or within the islands or across an international border for the purpose of exploiting that person for prostitution commits an offence and is liable on conviction and indictment to a fine without limit or a term of imprisonment to 10 years or both. According to Wikipedia, prostitution on the Turks and Caicos Islands, especially in Providenciales, is common Many of the sex workers are from Eastern Europe and the Dominican Republic. There is no source to the information. However, in the State Department report in 2015, in its Human Trafficking in Persons report, the State Department said that the Turks and Caicos Islands was a destination for men, women and children subjected to sex trafficking and forced labor. In 2016, the then leader of the People's Democratic Party, while they were in opposition, Charlene Cartwright Robinson, who later went on to become the first female premier of the Turks and Caicos Islands, according to media reports, in an interview on the People's Television, PTV, claimed that women were working as sex workers at local bars and other places which operate as covert brothels. At the time, Cartwright Robinson is reported to have said that prostitution in the Turks and Caicos Islands is a sore issue which the government of the time the PNP government seemingly turned a blind eye to. When Cartwright Robinson became Premier of the Turks and Caicos Islands, it is unclear what measures her government took 
to address the issue but it appears that probably something was done because in 2018 the United States State Department report on human trafficking in persons did not mention anything about the Tox and Caicos Islands. So it would appear that by 2018 that the issue of prostitution in the Tox and Caicos Islands was not a big issue or it was probably under control. Now I came across an article on the TC Weekly News. It's online edition captioned Clamp down and temporary work permits. Government says temporary work permits being used for sex trafficking and prostitution. And please note that the government in office or the party in office at this time is the PNP party. I'll be back to deal with the article. Welcome back. The article was published on the 5th of August 2022. I'll read from the article. The government is seeking to clamp down on prostitution and sex trafficking by halting the issuance of temporary work permit for barmaids, waiters, hostess, domestic workers, laborers, barbers, cosmetologists, and beauticians. In a statement on Wednesday the 3rd, the Ministry of Labor announced a new policy which will guide the processing, consideration, and approval of temporary work permits to mitigate and prevent the misuse and abuse of this service for illicit and illegal activities. During a July 8th meeting of Cabinet, members approve the new policy which was developed out of concerns that many establishments were misusing and abusing the work permit process for prostitution and sex trafficking. In developing the policy, the Ministry conducted a comprehensive review of work of the work permit process and the approval which were granted over a period of 13 months. Findings The Ministry found that over 1,876 applications for temporary work permit were approved between the period of January 2021 and February 2022. Of the total applications for temporary work permit approved, 187 barmaids applications were approved in the same period, of which 94% were female Dominican nationals and the remaining 6% or 12 were females of Haitian nationality. The ages ranged from 17 at the time of application, born on November the 6th, 2003, that is 2003, to 55 at the time of the application, born on 10th August 1966. The ministry said that the new policy will also ensure 
that Turks and Caicos Islanders and businesses are not adversely impacted while at the same time ensuring private sector needs for short-term skill migrants are facilitated. The review process. The ministry stated that two ministerial directive in accordance with section 46 of the immigration ordinance the commission of labor has been instructed not to issue temporary work permits immediately for the above mentioned category of labor namely barmaids waiters hostess domestic workers laborers barbers cosmetologists and beauticians and related workers under the new policy these application will only be considered under the traditional process of work permit applications following detailed scrutiny including requirements for health certificate police record and sufficient justification that the post is required and cannot be filled internally additionally with immediate effect the applications for temporary work permits must also include proof or evidence justifying the recruited individual is qualified and experienced for the work to the satisfaction of the commissioner and I think this would be the Commissioner of Labor. For example, an application made for an entertainer. Sufficient information must be furnished to demonstrate that the recruited individual is competently qualified and the services to be provided is in keeping with the legal and societal norms of the country. The statement outlined. There is also a minimum age requirement to temporary work permit to engage in certain category of work. The applicant must be a minimum of 21 years of age at the time of the application in order to be considered for a work permit in the category of barmaid and wait staff. So no longer 18 year old and 19 years old or even 20 year old could apply meanwhile the new policy also dictates that in considering any application for temporary work permit the labor commissioner must satisfy himself that the applicant has met one or more of the following criteria that is for emergency purposes the application is made as a result of an emergency resulting in the need to recruit an individual on a temporary basis emergency is defined as an unexpected serious and often dangerous situation requiring immediate attention it is left if left unattended can lead to the loss of life or have national disastrous implications to the country or the environment meant that is for urgent purposes the application is made as a result of an urgent need of the business requiring the business establishment to take immediate attention or action to recruit an individual for a short period to show up the business that is for specialists skilled staff an application for a temporary work permit can be made for a specialist to be recruited to enter and work in the country for a specific or defined period to adjust a specialized machinery or to work on a machinery which is under warranty and can only be serviced by and in accordance with the conditions of the warranty and there you have it 
viewers, the question is, are these measures enough to combat what appears to be a serious issue in the Turks and Caicos Islands? And it also begs the wider question, surely prostitution be legalized and regulated in the Turks and Caicos Islands. This is a debate that we may encounter in the very near future. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another episode.